day starts around 6 a.m. and uh, finishes uh, around 12 midnight. Uh, we are uh, working and trying to cover as much as possible during the day because during the night it's uh, bombing and uh, very dangerous. So we are out uh, when it's daylight and we are on the base preparing everything for the next day uh, when it's dark. So we are doing a lot of things and it's not enough of us to cover uh, even those, but we are doing what we can. We focusing on feeding people because we have a very well equipped kitchen that we just finished recently, which oh. not, right now serving 600 portions of food per day. Wow. And we feeding uh, different people, like elderly home. We feeding people in the metro underground that are hiding. We feeding uh, volunteers, and we feeding people who defend us as well. There is no cars, nothing. Uh, all the shops closed, and uh, at some parts you can see destroyed buildings that were bombed, um, like uh, civilian buildings. I saw yesterday we were driving in the city and I saw uh, burned cars on the road and uh, like after, after fights. And uh, some of our drivers that are rescuing people, they they see even more. They see shooting right beside them and they see uh, like bombs being shot like uh, very near from where they're driving. Before, before war started, I, I was anxious and I thought I will run. But uh, when the day came, we, me and some other volunteers here, we gathered together and we prayed. And uh, we all got this deep sense of peace and even more than peace, like uh, readiness to go and to do something. So we decided to stay to help here. You have this kind of thought that, well, if, if it's the end, I'm fine because I know that it's not the end for us. Like we do have life, eternal life, so it's fine. And if we die like this, it's the best death could be. Like we're helping our nation, we're helping our people. So even on the base, we don't have bomb shelter. So if they bomb base, we're going to be all dead. So that's why we don't, we don't receive refugees on the base no. because we can provide a safe place so the only people who stayed here is the one who ready to die if something happened we are hoping that ukraine win <laughs> uh, because uh, because it's more than just ukraine it's more than our nation i believe that it's uh, it's a crucial time to stand for those values that we carry not to be not to compromise not to be fearful to say out loud what you think and what you believe in and uh, like family values and uh, uh, culture, your culture and your inheritance. This is not the time to bow down <laughs> before uh, like other people. I believe that we're gonna stay strong. We, every day we read, we read messages how people from villages taking tanks of Ru Russian tanks and they are fighting with what they can. They kneeling before the tanks to stop them. And they they really, like Ukrainians, none of us want, want to, to be part of Russia. And uh, we want, we love our country. We want to fight for it. We do understand that God is the one who's on our side and who gives us strength and who protects us. Because even soldiers who we talk to, uh, they saying that some Sometimes they feel like bullets just flying uh, out away from them, like uh, supernatural. They don't understand how it's happening. So I believe that this is all those prayers of millions and millions of people that praying and interceding for us. So this is why I'm like, as, as like never before, I know that prayers are important and they have power and they do change uh, our reality.